So when you say Topps Field, one thing comes to mind really, and that is the Topps Field Fair. It is the oldest continuous fair in the United States of America. This is Jim O'Brien. He is the general manager of the Topps Field Fair. And uh, 1818. Jim, 1818. I'm going to say, I'm going to guess you were not the general manager for that first one. No, I wasn't. But uh, the Topps Field Fair is the oldest fair in America. Uh, we're coming up on our 200th anniversary. This is 193rd year. Uh, it's a continuous agricultural educational experience for people. And there's so much more to it than that. But let's talk about the agriculture. Cause what are folks going to see along those lines when they come up? You know, we're going to have, uh, we have over 2,100 people that enter things in the Top Sale Fair. We have cattle shows, llama shows. We have a tremendous draft horse show. We have the six horse hitch. So there's so much agriculture in Top's Field and at the fair. Uh, it, it's just incredible. And you're not going to go away hungry either at the Top's Field Fair. That's Absolutely. The other thing you, know you know, the thing at the Top's Field Fair, there's always that new food. Last year we had fried Oreos. Uh, this year they tell me it's going to be fried uh, butter. Uh, yeah, those are big, I guess. And uh, talking about that in Iowa, the presidential candidates are out there, and everybody's saying, "I'll try that." Have you yeah. have you sampled that? Maybe? I'm afraid I haven't sampled that. Yeah. I'm kind of, you know, I'm not sure my doctor would approve of that. But, <laughs> but you're uh, going to have to. So I'm going to have your, to. That's right. Your lofty status with a loft, uh, top seal fair, you have no choice but to sample that product. Absolutely, that. I have a dedicated responsibility to try all the food, and I certainly do my best to get around with the fried dough and the sausage, of course, and then the Congo Church has as the uh, wonderful turkey dinners. And we and learned about the whoopie pies today, too. Ah, so. the whoopie pies, oh, that's those right. Are good. Those are real good. Um, also, one of the things people look forward to every year is the entertainment. You always come up with a, with a roster of big-name folks coming in here to entertain everybody. Who's on the list this year? This year, we have uh, Michael Posner on the second Saturday. He's huge. Uh, we also have All-Star Weekend, which is on Nickelodeon. Yeah, oh, yeah. So they're going to be here. We have Sean Kingston. Uh, we've spoken to him. They're in great shape. He's, he's performing again. And we he's not, no jet ski ride for him. No jet year. ski ride. <laughs> yeah. We have Phil Vassar on opening Friday, September 30th. So that's uh, going to be great. That's a free show for people. So Phil now, Vassar when, when these entertainers here at Top Field Fair, do they know about it as well? Because you have had some big names up here in the past and I'm guessing that they spread the word in the entertainment circles. You know, it's it's interesting you say that, but I do travel quite a bit with the fair and things like that, and entertainers do know who we are, and a lot of times when we're trying to work out agreements with the fair, they want to be here. Yeah. They want to come to Tossfield. One of, this is one of the places well, they know that they need to be. there's going to be a big crowd here because... There's going to be a big crowd. Uh, we're the 42nd largest fair in the United States, so they want to be here. Anything in particular that's different this year that folks should uh, watch out for? A new wrinkle, perhaps? You know, we got a few different things this year. You always People like the same old, same old, but sure. you got to have a few things Absolutely. to kind of mix it up. So this year we're going to have a Bengal Tiger show on the second weekend. We're going to have oh. a BMX bike uh, show the whole week. Of course, we're going to have the standards, the racing pigs, the racing ducks, right, right. and the kinds of things that people traditionally look for. It's a great family event. Uh, what are the what are the dates this year? Uh, we'll be running September 30th to October 10th. So opening day is Friday. Uh, it's going to be wonderful. We'll have our grand parade on Saturday, which kicks off right yep. here from downtown. Um, so it's going to be a great week. Ayla Brown's going to be performing at the Excellent. fairground this year. Uh, so we get some great entertainment, and we're really looking forward to it. And we're working with Cindy to make sure that the weather is perfecto. Very good. As many of those days as possible, if not all of them. I think I'd like to have a day like today, actually. You know, this would be a perfect day, a fair day. Well, we can work on that. Is there a website, too, that folks can check out? Absolutely. Uh, www.topsofia.org. If you haven't been, you got to check it out because it's a great event, and really it's become a tradition for families all across New England. So. Absolutely. And I'd like to give you this bag here. Oh, fantastic. It's full of Top Show Fair. And I already got the blue ribbon. How about that? Go. Excellent. You've been awarded. I didn't even have to do anything to get it. Jim O'Brien. Thank you very much. Thank Top you. Fair again. Come up here and check it out. See that?